Welcome back to Steve Holmes Porn on YouTube. Today I'm going to show you an interview I did with Valentina Nappi. Uh, she's very well known for her work in the US, but she's originally from Italy, from the south of, of Italy. And we shot together for Mario Salieri, uh, his last big movie, uh, which we shot close to Naples. And I did a little behind the scenes interview with her, and I hope you enjoy. So hello, Valentina. Hi. I was so surprised to see you here because I always meet you in Los Angeles. Yeah, I have. I'm. I used to stay in LA like nine months a year. Yeah. And I'm trying to, you know, uh, work a little bit more here too. But, um, but you're actually from here. You live not far from I Napoli, where we shoot. Uh, well, without rain and traffic, it's like half an hour. Mm. But now that it's raining and there's like all the holes with the, with the water and anything in the streets, yeah. it takes like an hour almost because yeah. you have to drive really slow. Yeah, I, I was hoping when uh, Mario contacted me like a month ago, if I can come to Napoli, uh, I was thinking, wow, springtime in the south of Italy must be beautiful. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold and rainy. It's cold and rainy. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. Um, so, but actually in Los Angeles right now it's the same weather. Same temperature, yeah. same fucking rain. Um, you are a Spiegler girl, mm -hmm. which is the dream of many, many actresses. It was my dream too, to become a Spiegler girl. Yeah. Because when I was like 16, between like 16 and 18, I would watch, you know, uh, Sasha Gray, uh, Belladonna, yeah. uh, who else? That was a speaker girl. And, you know, I wanted to be in the United States. I wanted to work like them and do their stuff. Yeah. I mean, porn has changed it, I'm sure, a lot. It's always changing. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, it's like Hollywood or the internet. Like anything, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's good, it's evolving. Um, and yeah, so I did it and it, it's great. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm lucky that I worked with most Spiegler girls, if not all of them, over the years. I'm lucky that I worked with you, but oh, also Sasha Gray, Belladonna, the names you mentioned before. Yeah, she's probably my, I never worked for, with her, unfortunately, but I think she's probably the best performer ever. Like the stuff she, she used to do is, it's crazy. Belladonna? Yeah. I, I, I knew her for many years before we worked together the first time because uh, she was involved uh, to a friend of mine who didn't want that she performs with their, uh, her friends uh, and then uh, she got pregnant and all this. And finally, after years, I worked with her and uh, she was fantastic. But you are fantastic. Oh, thank you. You're fantastic too. <laughs> I, I really enjoyed uh, when we worked together in LA. And yesterday we worked for Mario Salieri, which is a totally different ball game. Yes, that's why <laughs> my hair looks like this. And I basically have no makeup. <laughs> yeah. And I'm also wearing this. I have pants under now because I'm cold. Yeah. But this is like an old pajama. <laughs> is it the first time you shoot with Mario Salieri? No, I shot with him uh, years ago. I don't remember how much. Um, and he's also a really known here in Naples and in Italy. Mostly between old generations of porn, the new generations, you know, people watching porn. Um, I mean, he, he does porn it's, it's longer than like, like live. Yeah. Yeah, he has been there all his life, yes. Yeah. Uh, he's famous. I remember when I met Mario the first time in 97, and I told him, Mario, I want to be in your movies, I like your movies, and he told me, oh no, you don't want to be in my movies, it's really not easy, <laughs> and it's really not fun, and you don't want to be in my movies. And five years later, in 2002, I did the first movie for him, and since then we worked together all the time. Oh, nice, <laughs> awesome. But um, it, it was actually a dream of mine. Even though I have to agree with him, it's not so much fun. It's not like doing a gonzo in Los Angeles, 
uh, where you come, you have sex for 45 minutes. And I mean, I don't think right now, maybe it's just me, I'm not getting booked for a lot of Gonzo anymore, because, you know, I did a lot in the past, and now I'm getting booked more for uh, those scenes where you take most of the time to shoot the five minutes intro, and then it's just three minutes sex. Mm -hmm. uh, so sometimes I feel like I just have a little tease. Yeah. And then I can go home and masturbate. <laughs> um, uh, so, I mean, things are changing. There's not as much going to as before. Yeah. Uh, so, things are changing. But yeah, it, in it, I feel like in LA, it depends by the side. There's a few people in, in LA, they they care more about their product and so they would spend more time, be more picky. You stay longer inside. I don't mind long days. Yeah. Uh, I'm happy to work if I know, you know, we're doing something good, I'm learning, the product will look good at the end. And I also like to, you know, do different stuff. Cause sometimes I mean, our scene yesterday took pretty long, uh, four or five hours. I guess I didn't check exactly, but around that. Yeah, I didn't hours. even feel it. It was yeah. that long. I but I enjoyed every minute because I had sex with you and it was a comfortable situation in a bed. Uh, and oh, yeah. we had to repeat a lot. Even if the, the mattress was, was... The mattress was fucked up, but... <laughs> it was split at one point, yeah, I was with my knees on the... On the metal... Uh, on the metal frame. Even the metal frame, and you too, yeah. But yeah, it was still really nice, yes. Um, I, but I also worked with Mario in situations where we were somewhere in an old castle and it was cold and, and sometimes it's really not easy to work with him, but I love the results in his movies really look like yeah, movies. Yeah, he's, he's unique, he's, he has its own... Uh, I used to have a different idea of pornography when I started, and uh, maybe like before starting porn, I would uh, like wanted to work for his stuff, because I'm not understanding why uh, you need those type of stories to lead into sex. You know, it's like there's always. It's actually, I think, is one of the first time, you know, I actually wanted to have sex with you in the story in the movie, because you are uh, you are my lover in the story. So I wasn't, you know, I wanted you. I want to enjoy sex. Uh, but last time I worked with him, I was, I think, I was doing for money. And today too, the scene today, I'm not. Maybe I'll, I'll enjoy it. I don't know. But as a character, you know, I'm. Uh, uh, I'm in a situation where I, I have to have sex. It's not that I, you know, in, I'm just in having many, sex in, because in, I want in to. In many of his movies, I play a very terrible character, uh, where I uh, force, I blackmail, I uh, almost rape. <laughs> uh, but that's many times part of his stories, mm -hmm. uh, in in war situation or other situations. But yesterday we had uh, consensual sex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I used to not understand why someone. Uh, I mean, I understand why someone wants to shoot those type of things, but not why someone will masturbate on uh, those type of scenes. And I always think about what people in real society want. And I feel like most men, they like to have power on, on their you partners. Want, you want to pass? Yeah, you can go ahead. You know, they like to have powers on people, and for most people, that's more important than the pleasure that sex brings. I mean, the whole power exchange is uh, very important. We have this Me Too uh, discussion right now everywhere, uh, where it's all about... Uh, I mean, I, I feel there's a lot of hypocrisy in that. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, it's important because the thing is, I think that thing, you know, that started with Weinstein has more to do with corruption as workers and rights as workers that actually has to do with sex. Because that has to do with power. It doesn't have to. The only thing it has to do with sex, if, like as I say always, if sex was like air, yeah. it was like drinking water, was as it should be, because that's, that's what it is. It's just natural. And there's, or, or like food. I feel like in, well, some people still don't believe that, uh, you know, cooking can be hard. hard. Okay. Yep. Should, I, should I strip on camera? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, do we have two more minutes or do, does she need to go on set now? We are doing the interview right now.
He told many times because Mario Iwoshi won't he won't see Valentin because I see this really. Okay, good. Uh, we can continue uh, a little bit later. Mm -hmm. You need to be on set right now and I'll talk to you later. Okay. Okay, we got cut off uh, because you have to get uh, ready for your scene. Yeah. We are now on set with your sexy glasses and your beautiful blue dress. You were talking about sex like food, if I remember right. Ah, uh, yes. I always compare two things because... So they're both to necessity. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, food is more... Eating is more urgent than having sex. And the thing is, I feel like most people don't think about sex like a necessity. They don't think about sexual repression as a social problem, but it actually is. I mean, right now, you know, we're still fighting for workers' rights and, I don't know, healthcare rights. So, so I, I understand we're still, you know, far from being that advanced in meaning of rights. Uh, but I always compare it to things. Uh, because right now is a really important moment for um, for cuisine. Mm -hmm. So you know, not, before chef used to not to be artists, and now they're considered artists. So I think one day pornography, hopefully soon, you know, it will be considered. Because I I think anything can be art. It depends I'm, how I'm, how I'm, it's made. I'm convinced that uh, pornography is art. Uh, I was talking about that in another video on my channel. Um, I, it's actually probably the oldest art uh, because if you see the paintings in, in cave paintings which are like tens of thousands of years old, uh, they already portray sexual situations. Yeah, even if in that case is like, you know, here in Pompeii we have... Um, Oh, it's know. full of sexual uh, art. Yeah, but those Pompeii. are more, it's, it's like dance, you know, dance used to be in, during Greece and Roman like something, it was a social art. So it was, an, was something that you will do as a ritual for... Because it was before the fucking monotheist uh, religion, it was before Christianity, it was before Islam. Uh, they had a much more relaxed uh, attitude towards sex. Yes. Uh, I mean, there were other things, but oh, for so many things that were, uh, there were so, there were like less taboo kind of. Mm -hmm. Like Romans, they will, uh, like if you see how toilets were made, public toilets, yeah. they will like poop in front of each other. Yeah. It was like, <laughs> like a square and everybody was sitting and they will just shit and <laughs> have a conversation, yeah. which is probably not the cleanest thing. And they will also uh, recycle the poop and the pee, they will like yeah. take it from, from the bathrooms and bring into to the lands that use are as a fertili uh, fertilization, yeah. uh, fertilization. By the way, I, w can, I can recommend anybody here on YouTube to search. There is a great documentary about uh, uh, the art of pornography uh, in history in different cultures. Yeah, but what I was trying to say is that uh, okay, for art as we intend now, it should be something that is totally disconnected from the social life and social part. But I think it will actually happen in society only when sex will not be a taboo anymore and we will like have a relation, the same relation with sex we have for other things and so it will be more scientific and less taboo. So at that point we will like worry less about the relationship that sex has with society. I think that's that, a that, that, that great too. goal on the one hand. On the other hand it uh, probably would uh, make us lose our job because pornography is no, no, it's different. We will be richer because we will just be, you know, like there's some actors, they are comedians. Mm -hmm. Some actors are specialized in horror movies. We will just be specialized actors. That's, that's all. So, I mean, in some mainstream movies, there's sex, but because of the taboo, most mainstream uh, actors, they don't want to perform sex. They don't want to be naked. Uh, it's just that. It's we just, just talked taboo. about that the other day with one of the actresses which is in this movie and she doesn't do sex, she's a theater and uh, TV actress and she has a non-sex role here. And it was, uh, I, I think it's funny because uh, every person has different uh, limits and taboos. Like a lot of mainstream uh, stream actresses, they would not get naked or uh, in front of a camera, but they would kiss. 
And I think a kiss is sometimes much more intimate yes, than I agree. anal They'd sex. Be, yeah. Well, it, it should not. In general, it is. Uh, but it is definitely more intimate than being naked. Yeah. Like that's for sure. I rather. I mean, I, I like you know to have sex and kiss strangers. But if I didn't want to have you know to kiss a stranger, I would rather of course be naked and you know kiss a stranger. If I had, if it, the two things make me more uncomfortable. Yeah, definitely kissing a stranger is more uncomfortable, or maybe not. Really. I, I, I love, yeah. I, I love kiss, and you are such a great kisser. Oh, I thank remember. you, you too. I, I yeah, yesterday getting, we I had this getting a boner by just thinking about uh, kissing you last oh, night. <laughs> thank you. Let's talk a little, a little bit about you, about your. I, I, I think you're a very sexual person. Thank you. And uh, not everybody in the business. Some people do it just for the money, some people just do it for the... I don't think it's that good money, uh, like I don't understand people to do it for the money because I don't, maybe in the past when you started there used to be nice money but now there's not. I, I mean I, I was working in computer, I had a pretty good job, I made more money before than in porn, <laughs> I started doing porn because I really like, you know me, you know how I enjoy what I'm doing Yeah. and I have the feeling that it's also what drives you. Yeah, I mean, for I always felt like I was not, I was always being around people that had taboos, mm -hmm. especially, you know, in South Italy, people, even if they're not religious, they will still act like they were, like they'll still have the type of culture, even if then they ask like, oh, and I don't believe in God, or, you know, I don't follow the church, but then they will still have all those stigma and dogmas about sex. And one of the things that I hate the most is jealousy. Uh, I never had a boyfriend before 18 years old when I, I met my boyfriend. And now we've been eight, eight years together because I never tolerate someone being jealous. And for me, sex and love are completely two different things. And sometimes, you know, when uh, there's those type of three months relationship, you know, some couples or like a year marriage or those type of things, they will get obsessed with each other mm -hmm. and they don't understand that's just passion, that's not love. Love, is, I think it's something that has to do a lot with the brain, with, you know, growing together, doing stuff together and believe together in the same things. I think. I mean, it's nice if sex and love yeah, comes of course. together, it, yeah. but it's not necessary. I always say, uh, some of the people I love most are the people I don't want to have sex with, like my children, my parents, my uh, <laughs> well, you know, that's, uh, and uh, no, I was talking about a couple's love. Yeah, but I, was I mean, the, there's some of my best friends which I really love, like compassionate, but I don't want to have sex with them. But they're girls. Uh, no, they are guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, and and or family members which I really love, but I so and then there are other people sometimes which I don't even like, but I want to fuck them. Yeah, but you yeah. have great sex with them. That, yeah. That's that's I I feel I'm a misanthrope. I I love to be alone. I don't. I never feel lonely. Mm -hmm. I feel I felt when I was teenager lonely in Minigov, I couldn't find someone who will have my same ideas. Uh, I find most people really close-minded, even in our business. I feel that so many people, you know, they do porn, but then they're really close-minded. But in, in America, got, like, in America it's more industry, than yeah. in Europe. Yes, yes. They have all this. Uh, look, what I find interesting and, and stunning, uh, we don't have that in Europe, that in America a lot of girls charge extra to have sex with a black guy. Oh yeah, I'm totally yeah. against that. Okay. Is and then That's the market is like, oh, my first interracial or whatever, as, as if it would be like something... I'm honestly kind of against also the first tale because make make it looks like a, a new virginity. Yeah. And pornography should do the opposite. It should like, you know, break taboos and show girls enjoying their sexuality as it is and not promoting... Because that's not about our role anymore, that's about you as performer. Yep. Like if you're playing first day and all as a character, it's a thing. Like I've done many times, <laughs> but I've never done first day and all in a scene. I mean, at least it's you know you're like a, per, a brand new girl, so you have to do it. Yeah, my it's first thing is is yeah. different. Yeah, but my first uh, my first scene was an anal scene. It was an hour forty <laughs> minutes anal. So. You're a speaker girl. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> And you're a great one. Unfortunately, I have to cut it short. I could 
talk for hours with you, but we are yeah, here have, on set. I'm gonna. I'm about to bang. Yeah, <laughs> and I wish you a great scene with Thank my you. friend Bruno SX, even though I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about. No, I'm not really jealous. Maybe you can come in, your DP. I would love to. Um, and I see you around the next days, and maybe we have other chances to talk. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And bye. <laughs>